Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video, and Blood Anvil Mission Team has finally been released into Infinite Warfare. A while ago, we actually had leaked uh, the lead cutscene for Blood Anvil, and we didn't know, we no one's ever seen the cutscene, so we all assumed that Blood Anvil was going to be this new mission team coming into the game, and what do you know, it is now in the game, which is pretty freaking awesome, you know, especially for people who, like, have completed the other mission teams already, even though I'm pretty sure no one has gotten to, like, level 100 in the other mission teams even though getting to level 50 really is technically the max level if you think about it because level 50 is when you actually earn the last epic weapon for that mission team you know and of course if you get to level 50 for this mission team you also get a weapon as well by I me mean, of course there's weapons throughout every 10 levels so um, that's actually pretty cool and I'll mention those weapons in just a second but blood anvil um, I do believe that this mission team is harder to level up than the other ones I'm just assuming that um, I believe it's like this actually the same amount of XP as the Wraith mission team, but the thing that is actually makes it harder to level up is the actual, like, missions you get every single game you play, you know, where, like, of course, some of them might be getting 5 kills, you know, and then, of course, they'll add on to 10 kills and 15 kills and 20 kills, you know, like, throughout the game trying to get that gold medal honor like so you get the maximum XP in that game for the mission team, you know, right? And, of course, like, we've seen all these other different kinds of, uh, like different kinds of uh, objectives you can actually do to complete to level up your mission teams um, throughout the th other four different mission teams that are already in the game. But in this, for Blood Anvil, um, the challenges are actually a lot harder. I haven't actually experienced uh, what some of the challenges are because I haven't actually played the game yet today, but I've been seeing tweets on Twitter of what people have been saying, so what some of these challenges are, and they seem really ridiculous. Like one of them is getting collaterals. Like holy crap, you need to get collaterals just to complete a challenge. That is ridiculous. I very, very rarely get collaterals in Infinite Warfare, so that's going to be a really difficult challenge, not going to lie, and, I'm pr and I can't really name any other ones other than, like, the five kills without dying, because that's already in my... Uh, it's like that's automatically already there you can see it like from the main menu and by the way in case you guys are wondering like just like the four miss mission teams you do have to level up to actually like earn them once you're first like before you even prestige you know once you already prestige you already have all the mission teams unlocked for blood anvil I don't know if that's the case I mean if you're like level one in the game and you're like totally starting new I don't know if you can like start leveling up blood anvil right away I'm not too sure about that but I'm like level uh, 46 in the game right now, and I don't know if, like, I already unlocked it because of what level I am, maybe because I already prestige, I'm not really too sure if there's a certain level you have to do to unlock Blood Anvil, but I also know that Blood Anvil isn't DLC, so it's free to everyone, so I'm not really sure if to actually unlock Blood Anvil, maybe it's already there for everyone, I'm not too sure about that, I was already there when I logged in, so I have no idea about that, but yeah, the missions for Blood Anvil, are, like I said, are very, very hard, and that that's just what makes it really hard to level up, and it case you guys are probably really really wondering what are the weapons that you're able to earn when leveling up this mission team so if we go into the supply mission depot thingamabobber the very first weapon you unlock at level 10 is a legendary Widowmaker called a Talisman, and what it does, it's the gamb has a gambler perk where, of course, uh, you earn a three-player kill streak, gives you a random perk, which is always always pretty nice, right? And the next weapon you earn is a legendary Karma 45 called the Armageddon, and I am so happy they brought this variant into the game. It is a variant where you, if you go on a 25-player kill streak, you'll get the Deatomizer Strike, so it has the nuclear perk on it, which is awesome because I seriously, I think the Karma 45 is literally my favorite submachine gun so hopefully I'll be able to get that someday but then the third weapon you get is an epic weapon which is pretty cool and it's an Ani epic weapon called the Tengu and what its perk is called it's called invert polarity um and what's or yeah polarity I said that right and what's cool about this is that it says greatly increased fire rate that decelerates over time so it's like the opposite of the original Ani where the longer you shoot it the faster fire rate like the the long like the, the longer you hold the trigger Trigger, the faster the fire rate goes where in this um the it already starts off being really fast but then the fire rate gets slower and slower which is kind of an interesting variant not gonna lie but then the fourth weapon is actually not an epic variant it's actually a legendary variant and it's an hvr forsaken and this one has the nuclear perk on it where if you go on a 25 player kill streak you'll be able to earn yourself the deatomizer strike and then of course the final weapon you earn 
for the Blood Anvil mission team is another Karma 45 uh, variant, which is pretty cool. And this one's called the Deimos, I believe is how you say it. I'm not too sure about that. But this is actually really interesting. It has a really unique perk to it. So the perk is called Berserker. And what it does is that killing an enemy grants increased fire rate and reduced recoil for a short period of time. So that's kind of interesting. Um, once you kill an enemy, your fire rate increases and your recoil is reduced. That's actually really freaking awesome. Awesome. I'm not gonna lie in the Karma 45 variant looks very cool actually it's like very unique compared to the other ones but yeah I really like the weapons that they add these are completely new weapons that are in the uh, mission depot which is pretty awesome and of course you can only earn these by leveling up the blood anvil mission team which of course isn't a very easy mission team to actually level up but that is awesome you guys I am so stoked that they kind of added this mission team for one reason now my video yesterday I did mention how I was really upset that they added 20 prestiges into the game but now that they added 20 prestiges in the game and also this new mission team that gives players who want to actually get to prestige level 30 they have now they can now level up uh, blood anvil they have more to the game now which is actually freaking awesome I love how uh, they add another mission team so people who want to get to prestige 30 will be able to actually have another mission team to actually look forward to to start leveling up which I think is awesome I'm really happy that they did that to and you know I'm not too sure if I'm get to level 30 or prestige level 30 in the game I I don't know I'm, like I said in my previous video I'm pretty busy so I don't know about that but I really like this mission team I really love the weapons that they you're able to unlock for this mission team I'm definitely want that to Karma 45 variant, and I'm talking—I'm not, not even talking about the uh, epic variants that you get at the very end. I'm talking about the legendary one, the second one you actually earn when you reach level 20 for Blood Anvil. And the reason why I just want the nuclear perk on the Karma 45 is because every time I use the Karma 45, I feel like I'm always doing really good. And I want—and they don't have a nuclear perk for this gun in the game until they added this mission team, and I'm really happy about that. And I'm glad I don't have to get this gun out of a supply drop or even spend salvage on it. I can just earn it through like just playing the game a lot so that's awesome you guys I'm really happy they had that weapon because I seriously love the Karma 45 and I can't wait to get a Diva Tomonizer Strike for it hopefully I do because if I do holy smokes I'll, I'll others make my day but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to leave a rating for if you guys feel this video deserves and comment below what you guys actually think of this mission team blood anvil if you and if you guys actually like these weapons that they add to the game because i mean i like the weapons that they add i'm not i mean of the Widowmaker or a talisman i mean honestly i'm not a big fan of like snipers in general so maybe you guys are snipers i don't know but let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you think of this mission team i really i'm really glad they added it adds more variety to the game adds more things to like look forward to when you're like playing the game and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm really happy they had this mission team. That was a very, very positive thing they did in this update, um, other than the 20 prestiges in my opinion. But I guess it, since they add 20 prestiges, why not add another mission team so you have something else to look forward to when you're like like doing those other prestiges? I don't know. That's pretty awesome though. Pretty happy they added another mission team. I don't know about you guys, but remember, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And like, my, like this video if you enjoyed it. And I shall catch you guys later.